here with a reading passage from the SH SAT. Um, I suggest that you pause the video, maximize the screen, so you can read the passage and then answer the questions with me. So again, I'm assuming that you've actually read this passage. Okay, so let's get started. Again, we get this question in the beginning, which is, what was this passage about? And as you skim through it, it starts off by talking about traveling performers and their important role in the culture of India. And then it talks about, as the article progresses, progresses um, that um, in ancient times, right, villager, so it talks about the background of that, which is that in ancient times, villagers living in remote areas depended on these, these folk artists to bring news um, from faraway places. And then even though the local leaders in the 16th century emphasized court-based entertainment and later industrialization broke down the old village society, the traditional arts managed to survive. So it starts to talk about how local leaders um, and industrialization changed the structure of society um, to threaten this cycle and, 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 and lifestyle between and relationship between traveling performers and small villages. And it talks about the role of cities and so forth, all in the growth and development and, and adaption of these performers. Um, so here, so sorry, so this passage says that A, traditional traveling performers in India have had to adapt to changing times. I would pick A, because they, they have to keep adapting throughout this article to different um, to different parts of society, to different lifestyles, etc. Et uh, B says folk artists traditionally provided a means of communication in India. There's not much mention of that in the article. C says that folk artists inherited their skills from their ancestors. While that was probably true, we don't hear too much about that. It's definitely not the best description of this passage. And then D talks about um, the importance of, of preserving artistic heritage. Although this, this author certainly would agree that that is important, this article really focuses on the adaption of, and the ability to adapt of the performers. And E says steps must be taken to preserve the excuse me the Indian tradition of street performance. Well, that's true as well. But you know what? It's not really mentioned or supported in this article. So for this question, I would pick A. The next question says which of the threats to traveling performers came first? Well, it talks about um, right when India became independent, their people in rural areas began relying on radio, television, and movies. Right for information and entertainment, so that seems like a, a first choice. But in fact, before that, right in the beginning, we talked about it before. Local leaders and industrialization really was the first threat they they faced. Local leaders actually being first. So television is not in. Uh, it's K entertainment and based in the courts, and then industrialization, slum clearances and and laws against begging, all threats, but this one, K, is mentioned first. 47 asks, which of these statements would the author most likely agree with? So the person who's writing about the survival and adaptability of these street performers, what are they, what are they going to support? So A says, traditional street performing will soon die, soon die out. I would say no. They're talking in this article about the way that this... Um, street performers have not died out, how they have adapted. So if the author was focusing on that, why would they also agree that the performers are going to die out? And B, it says puppetry, acrobatics, and storytelling are now primarily urban performances. I would say yes, because if you caught it at the end, it says many street artists return annually to their rural ancestral villages. So they go back to the, the countryside. But... Here's the keyword, but when they go back to the city, they are coming home. So the city is their home. So that means the author probably thinks, and I, I would pick B here, that these professions have become an urban profession. C says the cooperative has eliminated the occupation of artists and musicians. Um, that's not true because, again, we're focusing on how they have not been eliminated, how these performers have survived. D says laws against begging should be repealed. Well, that's a big statement, and I don't see how it's supported in the article. So D is out. 
He says, soon people will see traditional Indian arts only on television. Well, this article, in fact, says the opposite. That despite television, despite the many threats to street performers, they have still found ways to adapt. So E is out, and B, I think, is my answer for this question. Now, 48 says, the passage suggests that the Indian government currently treats street performers as, and then they say it, and we'll go back to that, business people. Um, and where does it say? It's just fine that to confirm. You won't always um, confirm. Okay. The government, here it is, the government has finally recognized their, their right, the performer's right, um, to be treated like other business people. So that's how the government views them, as business people. And for this one, my choice is H. 49. Which of the following is not suggested as a strength of current folk artists? Okay. A. Their willingness to change as society changes. Their ability, B. Their ability to preserve traditional values. C. The fact that they are breaking down caste barriers. I would say it's out. D. Their ability to ex to experiment with new methods. Well, nope. E. Their willingness to travel constantly around the country once again. Well, it, it talks about them um, constantly tra um, traveling around the country. So actually, I think I want to pick C here, but let me let me think about this for a moment. Which of the following is not suggested as a strength of current um, folk artist? Um, I don't remember where they mentioned them breaking down cast barriers. Hmm. Nope. So you want to scan for this. Okay, so here it says, look, the transition from rural wandering to urban street performing has encouraged other changes as well. In earlier days, the arts were performed by members of different castes who would not associate with each other. The cooperative has required that those divisions be broken down. Um, okay, so actually it talks about that. So C is not the answer because they do break down caste barriers. Um, the willingness to change... Um, a is a tricky one. A is close. I mean, because they are adapting as society changes, but are they really changing? Okay, I think they do mention A. Their ability to preserve traditional values. Um, well, it says some children of these performers have chosen not to follow the old traditions and have become bus drivers and industrial work, but others are preserving the old ways. Some of them are pre preserving old ways. C is out. So B and C definitely out. Um, D, their ability to experiment with new methods. Hmm. Oh, I think, okay, I, I got it. Sorry, it's going to be so long. But E, I think, is my answer here. Let me tell you why. Because it says their willingness to travel constantly around the country once again, like to constantly roam. Well, in fact, this is implying, towards the end especially, that they are in fact staying in cities. This is a, a city profession. And although they might travel and return annually, they really are always returning back to the city. So I think I'm going to pick E for 49. Now 50 says, what effect has the rediscovery of ancient traditions by the outside world had on Indian folk artists? It says F, they have regained some of their former popularity. That's a possibility. They have lost their legal status as performers. Nope. Because, again, it, it, it does talk about this. Let me try to find that spot. Um, sorry. Now, here we were trying to find um, some mention, I remember seeing it, of how people perceive the performers. And it was really a perception that people liked. Oh, here it is. In the outside world, exposed to recent movies and t TV shows about India, had become fascinated with all things Indian and discovered ancient traditions of the folk artist. So that means that, um, right, G is out because what it was a good thing when people from the outside viewed their their performances. So again, we're we're trying to find find out. When they didn't, when outsiders did make a rediscovery or discovery of ancient traditions, 
um, how did it affect the folk artist? So H says they have returned to their homes in rural villages. No, they have not. Again, it says over here that they're in fact um, they they are visiting their rural homes, but always coming back to the to the cities. J, they have rejected changes in favor of old traditions. Mm, that's not true. K, they have restricted the participation of women and children. Not much mention of that. So F, right? These performers have regained popularity because people from the outside are fascinated by them, and that has helped um, them develop in culture and society. All right, hope this video helped.